we caught up with Jay Leno and Josh Malks as they chatted about Malks' new book on the all-American car straight from the 1930s. The book is called Cord Complete. Welcome to another episode of Jay Leno's Book Club. Remember, no self-help, no weight loss. Just cars and motorcycles, anything that rolls and explodes and makes noise. Uh, we're going to talk about one of the great, great books. I think this might even be the book of the year. Uh, we're here at the Auto Books in Magnolia, rather than my garage this week, because that's where they're kind of premiering this book. This is Josh Maltz. This is a book on the cord. It's called Cord Complete. Uh, as you can see, beautifully bound book. Here. It's all about the cord A10 and A12. And now if you go to my website, you can see my cord Winchester, my A12. If you're not familiar with the car, that'll tell you a little bit about it. And this is just about every detail that's left on the cord, from pieces of paper found at the factory to, and it's beautifully, uh, beautifully laid out. Which, I mean, it goes all the way back to the very beginning. As you know, it was Cord, or Auburn, or, or and Duesenberg. Mm -hmm. And over the years, most people tend to focus more on the Duesenberg because that was the big, uh, you know, the high-end one. And I think in the last 10 years, the Cord has really come back into its own. It's always been a collector car, but now I think it's starting to get the respect it deserves and the price seems to be going up because they've been, I think they've been priced pretty reasonably mm -hmm. because most people just have no idea how to fix it. And I think it's probably the best highway car of the 30s. In fact, I think it's the equal of the Duesenberg. It was meant to be the baby Duesenberg, wasn't it? Well, originally the, the design was for a smaller Duesenberg because the larger Duesenberg was not selling that well. And uh, when Harold Ames, who was the president of Duesenberg at that time, became the executive vice president of the Auburn Automobile Company, he brought the body style to uh, Auburn where they mated it with the front wheel drive system that they've been working on. Right. And uh, of course, Auburn, Cord, Duesenberg, one of the great American automobile companies. You know, people tend to think all the, uh, especially kids think all the American cars came out of Detroit. Mm -hmm. But at one point, Indiana rivaled Detroit for car manufacturers, and at one point even had more, didn't they? That's correct. There were 120 yeah. different cars were built in, in Indiana through the, from the beginning of yeah. automobile manufacture through the 30s. And uh, besides having a lot of detail, there's wonderful photographs like these ones here. Take a look. I mean, it's if you're a Cord enthusiast, or even just an automobile enthusiast, you owe it yourself to uh, get this book. How can they get it? Well, they can get it at places like Auto Books. Right. They can um, get it at some of the automobile museums. Do you have a website? Um, and there's a website. Okay. The website is www.cordcomplete, one word, .com. You know, when you go to Europe, the cord is looked upon as an exotic car, an American car, that one of the few American cars. And it's, I think it's the best looking four door car, certainly of the 30s as well. So the book is called Cord Complete, and they can get it once again from what's the website? The website is www.cordcomplete, one word, dot com. And it comes in its cage, got the whole cage, got the whole deal. If you can't afford the car, at least get the book. Josh, thank you very much. Thank you, Josh.